Hey, what's going on party people? This is Pete with Backdraft Bikes and we have a special review today for you. This is the 2021 brand new offering from Indian. Yeah, this is their Chief Bobber Dark Horse. Are you kidding me? And it has a stage two kit on it. Thanks for joining me again. Hey, I appreciate you supporting the channel. I do have some new merch in. If you want to wear one of these cool shirts and look spiffy while doing it and supporting a good cause, please check out the link in the description for our merchandise. This bike is Mean Lean Fighting Machine. It's a really interesting package that Indian has put together here. What they've done is they've taken the Chief and you know they make the dark horse renditions and the springfield and things like that i've got some views on my channel on that one but they take it and they slim it down and they turn it into a lightweight rocket ship this has the larger motor that they offer but it's coming in only at 670 pounds dry it's got a four gallon tank 120 foot pounds of torque and that's before stage two so stage two is just going to up those numbers quite a bit it's really mean looking nice clean back fender i like that look right there really awesome and it has uh some upgraded exhaust on it so you get a nice bark right from the factory too all factory options of course it's a belt drive and it's murdered out because it is the indian chief dark horse edition Really, uh, really cool. Some styling cues uh, that seem to uh, come back to the FTR, like the headlights the same. Uh, a few other uh, layouts on the bike are the same. And I like the digital display on this as well. It's very, very similar to the FTR, except this one's round. I'll show you that in just a second. Kind of an interesting setup too in the back with the brake. The brake is super low to the ground. I'm kind of nervous about that. I'm not sure why they don't mount it on the top of the, the uh, rotor. Seems like that could pick something up really easy, even road debris. But uh, yeah, it's got some solid caliper mounting bolts on there, so maybe it will take a hit. Let me show you that uh, gauge. Again, nice uh, nice saddle on this, pretty comfortable. Uh, and as we get on the bike here, I'll show you the uh, digital display here. This is actually one of the things that I thought was really cool about this bike. Indian motorcycles. Got a little splash screen. It does take a minute to boot up. I was kind of surprised at, at the length of time. But Indian's really rocking it with the uh, digital display and its touch screen. So you can use a glove. You can t you have your touch screen situation going. Now, they've got a, a mode like this where you've got your RPMs. You've got a digital compass, outside air temperature, miles per hour, a gear indicator, a clock. And then, of course, a really nice uh, tachometer. You've got another uh, version here, which gives you your analog, whoops, your analog speedometer, a fuel gauge that's analog, an RPM that's analog, your digital compass, outside air temperature, gear indicator, and odometer. So that's pretty cool. It, again, they're, they're really taking technology to the next level and keeping things classic and true. Uh, there's also some multi, uh, multiple warning lights around the side of this like your check engine and stuff like that as well so that's kind of cool and everything's kind of controlled by this little uh, joystick situation here where you can page up and page down you even have a music control feature uh, which is kind of cool your blinkers high low beams etc and um, this model does have cruise control on it as well which is kind of cool uh, for a bike like this now this bike is a little smaller it's a little bigger than the FTR that I drove but it's definitely a smaller bike you want to give this thing a shot and see what it feels like? Let's rock. Time to stroke. All right, let's fire this up. This is the 116 cubic inch Thunderstroke. Oh, listen to that thing. Wow, that sounds awesome. It's the same engine as the bigger bikes, but just a smaller frame and some extra technology, which daddy like. Here we go. Forward facing controls, you know, your feet are up front, so it's a little different, but not bad. 
Uh, you can feel the bobber in this thing. It's got a little bit of a rough ride. I'll tell you that for sure. Ooh, here we go. Oh my word, are you kidding me? This bike is so fast. Oh, this bike is super fast. You gotta really hold on to it. So let's try the brakes, okay? See what we got going on. Okay, not bad. Not the greatest. For the size of the engine, this thing is a little under braked, but not bad, not bad at all. Here we go. Oh, this bike is fast. Super fast. And it has a low slung center of gravity like the other chiefs that chief models that I've ridden so it, it may be a, a larger bike but it actually handles decently it's almost like the throttle is an off and on switch as far as handling goes I wouldn't want to take that corner much faster than that I could feel the bike trying to drift so I'm trying to be careful with these demo bikes. Oh yeah, she's got some giddy up though. I'll tell you, she's got some, some nut. Wow. <laughs> Put that in your book and read it. So you've got a V-twin, really robust torque, but you've got a red line of 5,000 RPMs in a small frame, and and it handles so-so. It's not terrible. I mean, for the size of the bike and the package that you're getting, this is actually a, a really nice marriage uh, of torque, size, and usable RPM range. This bike pulls right off the line, strong to a red line. There's no, I don't feel any flat spot in it. And of course, this has the stage two kit. I mean, this thing really, really, really rides good. Let's slow it down a little bit here. Uh, as far as brakes go, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, it's it's still a, not a super light bike. It's 670 pounds. So by the time you get fuel and everything in it, you're probably close to 700 pounds. Um, so that's not a light bike by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, it's low center of gravity, taking a cue from uh, the other chief models. Uh, they're doing a good job with it. It's an interesting thing right here with the Stage 2 kit. It's got this manifold on it and my my uh, hamstring is like right into it, which is kind of weird. You kind of got to sit funny. Uh, so I'm not, not digging that design. Okay, here we go. Here's the corner of death. Yeah, Ugh. not bad. Scrape the peg a little bit. Okay, yeah. So this bike, this bike's engine is just a firecracker ready to rock. So uh, if you're gonna get one of these bikes, understand this is not exactly a cruiser. This is more of a sport bike, for sure. Actually, this really reminds me of the FTR, except I'm on like a vintage chassis uh, setup. Uh, that's, that's impressive. Now listen, I'm at like 2,500 RPMs and you can see me jerking back and forth a little bit here. I mean, this thing has power right off the line. It's 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 kind of crazy for sure. Sweet exhaust note as well, uh, Indian. You're doing a fantastic job with these setups, and considering this comes from the factory, that's that's pretty that's pretty rad. So this this uh, little course here on the road that they have us drive, it, it's a nice it's a nice loop. The road is a little bumpy up here. And this bike, you can feel it in the, this bike's suspension is very stiff. You can feel it. This is, again, 
uh, coming off of the off of the uh, the Indian Dark Horse, the Chief model uh, chi or Chief Tin, I should say. Uh, this bike does not have the same uh, plush ride feeling to it. This is more of a, a bobber style, really. It's more of a bike that's got some power in your face power, mind you, uh, ready to rock, but. Uh, you're sacrificing some of the creature comfort. This gauge is amazing. I don't know why they don't have this on the other models. They should really think about adapting the multifunction display to uh, some of the other models. They were, some of those other models, um, like the Dark Horse and stuff, uh, if they had that instead of the analog clock gauge, I mean, that would be, that'd be sweet. That'd probably give you everything you need right there. The, uh, again, the, you're, you're, you've got your forward facing uh, foot position, frontward foot position, I should say. Uh, you, you don't have the platforms that you have on the, the other Chieftain models. These just have pegs. I don't know if you can see it, but my foot's just kind of hanging out there and I have big feet. So um, my ankle is very close to the ground when cornering. That's something that I would be cautious about. I'm not sure I'd say nervous, but just be cautious that you wouldn't want to scrape uh, coming around corners, obviously. We got these people here high-fiving in the middle of the road. Who knows what's going on? What's going on, people? Beautiful day out here in sunny Loudoun, New Hampshire. Cow Hampshire. This bike definitely, their suspension on this bike definitely is a little on the rough side. It is not as plush as you would think. I find myself really grabbing hard on the handlebars to keep the bike in control. Um, perhaps you can adjust it out a little bit. Perhaps, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's go. There we go. I don't know if you can hear the exhaust note through my helmet, but it is a thing of beauty, eh? Uh, which, where are you guys riding at? Where, where are you guys riding at? Throw it on the comments down below. Let me know. Maybe. Uh, a bike like this, if you're down in uh, Florida, would be nice because everything's smooth. Well, depending on, I guess, depending on what section of Florida you're from. Um, up here in New northern New England, our roads take a wicked beating. We we got frost heaves, potholes, lots of sand from the ice. They put, uh, to, you know, winter driving conditions. So you get a lot of debris and stuff on the road. So it makes it a little particular to find... Uh, a bike that's well suited for rough terrain, especially all the bumps and potholes and everything. So uh, this bike right here, a little bit harsh. If they could tone the suspension down just a touch, that'd probably be great. But understand they put a nuclear power plant in this thing and they put a stage two kit on it. So, you know, there's gotta be a little bit of a compromise as far as the handling versus uh, plushness and ride. So, you, you, you know, obviously you do sacrifice a little bit of ride quality when you want your sport. So that's that's what they're doing. Still has the really thick handlebars as well, which is kind of interesting. Um, I think on a bike like this, you'd want more of a, a little bit smaller uh, on the grip. But, you know, I, again, this is the same, the Chief series. So they're, they're kind of keeping the same stuff. This setup is a cross between the Springfield with the ape hangers and the Indian Dark Horse. I think these are right in the middle. You probably got, I don't know, a six inch rise on the bars. So it puts it right where you want it. It's a very comfortable bike to ride. The The only thing I do like complain about is this intake manifold is like right on my uh, hamstring, very in the way. Uh, I don't know if having smaller legs would even make a difference because it's just there. Um, so maybe you get used to it just resting it, but I mean, going over these bumps, I can feel a little doo -doo 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 into my my leg, which over a long period of time would be kind of annoying. The other thing I just mentioned about the seat. Now, I'm a tall guy, six foot four. Uh, this seat, sitting on this seat right now, it really cups your lower your lower spine. So I can feel it pushing right on my tailbone. What in the wide world of sports, lady? I can feel it pushing on my tailbone and that's a little discomforting. Um, so again, with the suspension being pretty stiff on this bike, uh, maybe a younger rider, this would suit uh, better. If you're looking for a cruiser, just to cruise around, uh, you know, relax, enjoy, go on a road trip or whatever, this might not be the bike for you unless you can really radically adjust the suspension as well as uh, maybe 
change the seat configuration just a little bit. There is no uh, passenger seat on this anyway, so they are going for the bobber look for sure. The throttle's really responsive on this. It is like on off. It's like a it's like a light switch. There's no roll onto the throttle gentle. I mean, it's like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So kind of interesting. Well, we're going to be pulling into the back of the speedway here, and we'll crack her open again. Uh, what are your thoughts on this bike? Do you, have you have you driven one again? The Chief Bobber Dark Horse. This has a Stage Two 116 uh, engine in it and uh, six-speed tranny. Uh, they're advertising it's 120 foot-pounds of torque. I definitely think it's all of that and then and then some. Maybe with the Stage Two, it's plus plus 10 or 20, maybe. I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, you can see I just, it's very jerky on the lower RPMs. It wants to rock. It wants to rock. And let there be rock with a Thunderstroke motor. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy like, and that let off with the back pressure and the burbling. Yes, yeah. It's wicked decent bump. Let's see what we got here. We got Dead Man's Corner here. And then we got a little straight stretch we can crack her open. We'll go from a start stop and we'll see what she can do. How about that? Would you like that? Here we go. We got nobody behind us. The engine's nice and lumpy. Listen to that. Here we go. exceptionally fast for one of these old school bikes <laughs> oh my goodness brakes are good throttle response is excellent for the cruiser market if I was gonna buy a bobber I would rate this a strong nine I would give it nine minus the discomfort on the seat and this stupid intake manifold thing this bike is a keeper. It is a rocker and it rocks hard. Well, thank you again for your time today. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of the video. Until next time, ride safe.